Grayson. Yeah, he is eating two sandwiches. This is like super dark. Okay, there we go. Um, and the dogs are just sitting here waiting, which is funny because Grayson started using this laser pointer <laughs> and Peanut has been going crazy over it. Piper doesn't care, but Peanut is he like going. She tries to eat it, yeah. Oh, Piper tries. What was that, Piper? Did you get it? Did you get it? Did you get it? You want to tell the vlog where you're going tomorrow? On another field trip. On another field trip, he's gonna go see a play, right? Yeah. Is it a Christmas play? No, it's an elf play. An elf, but it's like Christmas. Mhm. Mm nice. That's gonna be fun. Are you excited? <laughs> he had school today, and then he has school tomorrow with his uh, field trip, which will be fun. Oh, Peen's tired. Peen, look. Peen, Peen. Peen, what's that? Oh. <laughs> Good afternoon. It's still Wednesday. Um, actually, I had a whole bunch of computer work to do, so me and Grayson's just been hanging out. But Ethan, on his way home, ended up having to pick up Nevaeh because she is not feeling good. Like, I don't necessarily know that she's pukey, but oh, my hair, I can't even handle it. it. Needs to be washed, okay. Okay, I won't. We cleaned, me and Grayson cleaned Nevaeh's room because my mom used to do that to me when I was sick and I would come home and my room would be like perfectly clean and I left it. And so I'm gonna do that, or I did that to her. So I cleaned her room. We put the humidifier on so that it has some like Vicks in there. And um, I very messily made her bed, but she had so much stuff because her and Grayson had been um, sleeping in here together. So there was stuff on the floor and whatnot. So I just cleaned her room, me and Grayson did. And I just filled this. Um, Got some water for her to drink. And she's in the shower right now, taking a shower. And Grayson is cleaning his room. Can I come in now? No. Nope. Oh, I can't come in yet. Washing her blankets and her sheets. So I just put like my old quilt on there and her like a new like a new um sheet. So it's all cozy for you. Grayson. <gasps> Wow. Did you clean? Mm -hmm. Good job. Are you having a fort too? Mm -hmm. Wow, I'm that's cool. It tonight. You are? Ooh, that looks fun. Good evening, you guys. We are just uh, making some dinner. Got some mac and cheese. Just some regular craft mac and cheese for the boys that we buy at Costco. And then we get this at Target. They do have Annie's at Costco, but not the gluten-free stuff. This stuff is the gluten-free rice shell pasta. And we get another one that's gluten-free. That's more of the elbow macaroni. That one. Nevaeh likes them. <clears throat> We've tried a lot of the gluten-free ones, and I think this one's probably the best or the favorite. Oh, geez, I'm about to go. Almost overflowed. Got the heat up a little bit high on this burner. So, anyway, I'm going to make some mac and cheese for the kids, and then i got to go drop them off at church tonight. I don't know if Nevaeh's going to be going to church. <clears throat> She's feeling a little bit under the weather. I had to pick her up. Um, I don't know. Later this afternoon, like, I don't know, maybe an hour before school got out or something. Um, I was in town and I got a call, so I had to go pick her up. Courtney was nice enough to clean out her bedroom, and we got the humidifier with the Vicks going in there, so. Um, but Courtney and I, after, we drop, after I drop the kids off, I'm going to pick up our favorite pizza. We've vlogged it before, uh, but I'm going to pick up our favorite pizza, and we're just going to have a date. Here at the house instead of going out she's a little bit exhausted and tired from her workout yesterday so that's what we are going to do and i think she had a hard time falling asleep last night too so anyway that's what's going on i'm going to show you guys quick how i make my favorite <coughs> coffee drink or at least the one that i do in the afternoon evening 
I'll make a cortado. For those that aren't familiar, cortado is equal parts espresso and steamed milk. This has got a little bit of froth on top, so it's it's in a small cup, but I was super excited when we went to Starbucks Reserve Roastery in um, New York. I got this little baby mug. It's got some grounds in it right now, but anyway, I'm gonna make a cortado with our lovely breville. Here's my espresso range right in the middle where I love it. That's some perfect espresso. So that fills it up about halfway. And then I'm going to fill the rest up with. You guys know we're big Starbucks fans. This is a creamer since they came out with it. The Starbucks, Starbucks Caramel Macchiato Creamer. I also have Cinnamon Dolce Latte Creamer. So, I'm a flavoring kind of guy, so I just put a little bit of, little, can't talk, a little bit of creamer with the milk when I froth it, so it's got a little bit of flavor to it. Frothing the milk. Made a little bit too much milk, but. So I won't be able to try to make any, any fancy designs, but. Give it a shot. <laughs> so good. It was probably more like two thirds espresso, a third froth milk. It's pretty strong, but it's delicious. I'll just add some more milk to it.